Hi everybody, it's Michael from the Recover It team providing you with practical data solutions on how to recover lost or deleted partition data. Partitioning a disk drive or an SSD is a good and useful way to organize or guarantee enough space for our data and disk partitioning is a way of slicing a single hard drive into various parts which are called logical sections. Through the process of partitioning you can get advantage of a few pretty good side effects. Firstly, yeah, that can make your files be better organized and you to have enough space for everything. And secondly, you might reduce the risk of getting accidental data loss in case of an operating system failure or a virus or any other kind of a software glitch. If all that sounds very complicated to you, let me transform it into simple words. Pretty much every Windows user very often has a C, D, E and so on drive. These different so-called drives are actually logical drives and they're part of the same physical hard disk or SSD. And this is what we very often do. We allocate the C drive for the installation of the Microsoft operating system. On drive D we can store some files, on drive E we could keep the data for our games and so on. Well, that's the theory of what logical partitions actually are. But what can cause such a partition to entirely disappear or to get corrupted? Well, the reasons might vary. That could be caused by an operating system bug or even scarier could be a virus. A human error is of course part of the list. If you have been playing with, for example, the disk tools or another new fancy software that you're not quite sure what it is about, could be that you accidentally delete a volume or logical drive or simply format something you don't really want to. Disk corruption or bad sectors and yes, unfortunately, hardware issues can contribute to a loss of an entire logical disk. And if you recall, the partition tables, they're the backbone of these file systems. So if something happens to them, that would be pretty bad. For NDFS, that's the so-called MFT, the master file table. If that gets corrupted, you're going to be in serious trouble. But usually the MFT has a backup on the partition itself. And for most other operating systems, there could be a cure as well. Um, okay, I'm going to stop here because otherwise it's getting too depressing. But these are some real life scenarios of what could contribute to you losing data through getting your logical drive disappearing. Now, let's talk about what we can do in order to save this data. First, we'll start with what you should avoid doing, like panic. This is the first thing that happens to all of us. Well, try not to panic. Panic is never giving you good ideas. So stay calm and start researching until you find a good solution. Or if you're already panicked, keep watching this video. Second thing to avoid, uh, do not format the drive. You know, no matter what happens, avoid formatting the drive because as soon as you do it, most likely the chances of saving any kind of data are going to be brought to a minimum. So avoid any formatting of your disks. And thirdly, avoid installing random software. Like sometimes people search in Google and very easily you can find a malware or another app which is just going to fail you. So avoid that. And that's why we're here to give you some really good ideas on how to actually recover these lost partitions. Let's get started. Have you heard of the command line tool called Check Disk? Well, the Check Disk utility is a versatile command line tool. However, there are a few graphical alternatives which are available on Windows and can help you a lot even if you don't have any knowledge about command line. For less nerdy viewers, the graphical option may be the right way to go and recover your data. Launch the software by pressing down the Windows key while you're pressing the X button on your keyboard. Next, select Disk Management from the menu that pops out. After the tool opens up, do a right-click on the drive with the lost partition and navigate to its properties. OK, now check the affected disk for errors or optimize the disk fragmentation by navigating to the Tools tab and the top of the Properties menu. The Tools tab is found in between General and Hardware. There's no way to miss it. That was easy. Now let's go a little bit more advanced. Click the Windows icon and hit the Windows key to launch the Windows Start menu and type CMD into the search bar. Right click on the CMD executable and run the program as administrator. 
Type CHKDSK followed by the letter of the drive and a colon and the parameters R or F. For example, check disk D slash R slash F, which is going to fix the errors on the drive while R is going to locate and fix the bad sectors on the drive. Hit the Enter key and press the Y key on the keyboard if the program asks for further permission or just type yes if prompted for approval during the process. And here's a full list with all the parameters which are to be associated with the check this command. If that doesn't help, keep on skipping the panic, you know, stay focused because now we're gonna try Recover It by Wondershare. It's a brilliant software which helps and makes the recovery of lost data partitions much easier. This software provides the cleanest, most user-friendly interface for such a complex task and you're gonna be done in just three simple steps. So go ahead and launch the software. A list of all available drives on your device will appear immediately after launching the software and because the interface is clean and simple, you're going to notice how easy it is to navigate around the software. That's a plus, wouldn't you say so? Simply select the lost partition disk. The software is going to scan the disk, discovering lost data on the partitions. The time it takes to scan the drive depends on the size and the number of files on that. Once the scanning process is finished, you're going to be able to preview and save your data. Nice and simple, isn't it? Important files such as pictures, videos or Word documents could be compromised or entirely gone in case of a corrupt, damaged or deleted disk partition. Brilliant tools such as recovery, data recovery software could really save the day in situations like this and I hope you find this review and tutorial useful. And that's been everything about today's episode. The last thing which is left is you to make sure you have hit that subscribe button so that we can see each other in the next helpful uh, practical data solution tutorial. And was that helpful? You can tell me in the comments below and for any questions and comments we'll be keeping an eye on that particular section. My name is Michael, it would be great to see you again, so I'm looking forward to catch up in the next episode. Bye!